graph the equation by finding and plotting ordered pair solutions. So we do need a table for this one. And in the table we got our x and y values. f of x is just a fancy way of saying y. It's a function and that's okay. Hopefully you guys know what functions are. If not, I think we go over them just a little bit. So what values of x should we, uh, should we use? Sigma. The great thing about this is you guys get to choose what values you want to use. The problem is if, they're, if you're going to use big values like 100, you're going to have to either change the scale on the graph or make a bigger graph. Well, I don't care which one you do, though. So in this equation, I've got y equals 5x, right? That's a bad equal sign. Hopefully yours is better. But I'm going to replace my x first here with 0, and I'm going to find the corresponding y value. All right? So what is 5 times 0? This one may take some time, so check on your calculator. I get 0. Bam. This right here in the table, which I've set up vertically because then it gives us ordered pairs directly, that's 0, 0, which is the origin right here. All right. When x is 1, I've got y equals 5 times my x, which is 1 now. So y equals 5. So I have the point 1, 5, which I get is right there. On my math lab, this is all you would have to do. Once you have these two points, it will draw the line for you. But whatever. Okay, if you want to draw more points on it, because this makes you so happy and it enriches your life, then draw as many points as you want, all right? This many as I can fit on there. And then I just draw a line through the points. There is my line. It goes on forever, so I'll put some arrows on the end. That's kind of pretty.